So now we're going to be looking at the text side of things. We're going to go through the steps of creating a repeat in Affinity Photo. We will be building a straight repeat. Repeating patterns are built on a foundation of pattern tiles arranged in really specific configurations as we discussed earlier. No matter what motifs are in your pattern, you have to arrange them properly so that they repeat seamlessly. Pattern tiles can be made of one single motif or multiple motifs grouped together. In my case, we're going to be grouping multiple different types of motifs that still feel and fall in line with that whole circus vibe. So now I want you to open up Affinity Photo and select File and New Document. We're going to begin by setting up a 3000 by 3000 pixel square workspace in Affinity Photo at 300 dpi. You're going to pull in your motif elements into your file by opening the PSD file that you shared with your computer. You can begin to recolor your elements separately on this file by using the Paint Bucket tool. You can utilize a color palette that works well based on your research and concept. And once you have all of your motifs open and colored, you can begin to select them to place them into the Square Workspace file that you've set up. You can use the Pixel Selection tool to select your individual elements and then copy them and then begin placing them into the center of the square. You can just paste it in. Make sure though that you stay away from the edges of your square as we will be using the Affine filter to pull the motifs into the corners of your workspace which is what will create our seamless repeat. Place each of your motifs into the center of your square filling and pulling in details into the workboard. Once you're happy with your placement, group your elements. Then you're going to make a copy of that group so you still have the editable version of your motifs. Make sure you uncheck the layer visibility on the original layer and then select your group copy. Now we're going to use the Affine or also known as the Offset Filter. You'll go to your top menu, select Filters, Distort, Affine. In the pop-up you'll want to keep your scale for X and Y at 100% but you would change your Offset X to 50% and your Offset Y to 50%. Your Extend Mode should be Wrap and then hit apply. You will now see your center pattern offset to each of the four corners of your square. Now you will begin to fill the center once more. You'll want to add in elements to fill the gap that was created from the offset and this works kind of like a puzzle. You will want to fill in with pieces that work best. Once you're done filling in your center, you're ready to save your tile if you're happy with the colors that you've been working with. If you want to save with the background color, you can create a new layer and fill it with a background color. And if you want to rework your colors, now would be the best time to do this. Once you feel your tile is finalized, select File, Save As, and you can save as a .png with a transparent background if you don't want a background color, or you can save as a .jpeg.